My dear child, please do not ignore me this time. I'm talking to you because I love you, and I do not want you to end up in hell with the devil, because I'm coming very soon. I know your name, and everything that has to do with you, so you're the luckiest if you found this message. I see you. I am here with you, always, waiting for you to turn to me. Do not ignore the love I offer, for it is boundless and eternal. In your moments of doubt, fear, or confusion, I am here, ready to listen and guide you. Do not let the noise of the world drown out my voice. Open your hearts to me, and I will fill them with peace and understanding. I long to be a part of your lives, to walk beside you in all your joys and sorrows. Do not ignore the whispers of your soul calling out for something more. I am that something more. Embrace me, and together, we will find the way to true happiness and fulfillment. I come to you with a heart full of love and compassion, longing for you to recognize my presence in your lives. Do not turn away from me, for I am the source of light in your darkest moments, the comfort in your times of sorrow, and the strength in your moments of weakness. I see you struggling, trying to find meaning and purpose in a world that often feels chaotic and confusing. But I am here, offering you guidance and peace if only you would turn to me. Do not let the distractions of this world keep you from hearing my voice. Quiet your minds, open your hearts, and you will find me waiting for you, ready to embrace you with my unconditional love. I am not distant or indifferent to your struggles. I am here, walking beside you, ready to lift you up and carry you through the storms of life. Do not ignore me, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. I speak to you not from a place of judgment or condemnation, but from a heart overflowing with love and longing for your companionship. Do not ignore the call of your soul to seek me, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. In your busy lives, it is easy to forget me, to push me to the sidelines as you pursue your earthly desires. But I am here, patiently waiting for you to turn to me and find the peace that only I can give. Do not let the worries of this world consume you, for I hold you in the palm of my hand. Trust in me, and I will provide for all your needs. Seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. I am not a distant God, but a loving Father who longs to be reunited with His children. Open your hearts to me, and I will fill them with my love. Do not ignore me any longer, for I am here, waiting for you with open arms. I call upon you to be the bearers of my light, to spread my good works throughout the world. Do not keep the love you have received from me to yourselves, but share it freely with others. In your words and actions, let my love shine brightly for all to see. Show compassion to the needy, forgiveness to the wrongdoer, and kindness to all you meet. In this way, you will be fulfilling my commandment to love one another as I have loved you. Do not be afraid to step out in faith and be a beacon of hope in a world that is often filled with darkness. Trust in me, and I will give you the strength and courage you need to carry out my good works. Remember, it is not by your own power that you do these things, but by the power of my Spirit within you. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. I call upon you to be my hands and feet in a world that is hungry for love and compassion. Do not wait for others to act, but go out and do my good works wherever you are. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and comfort the sick and the lonely. In doing so, you will be fulfilling my commandment to love your neighbor as yourself. Do not underestimate the impact of even the smallest act of kindness. A smile, a kind word, or a helping hand can make a world of difference to someone in need. Be a living testament to my love and grace, and let your actions speak louder than your words. By spreading my good works, you are spreading the light of my love to all corners of the earth. I urge you to turn away from the darkness of this world and embrace the light of my love. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Choose to do what is right and just in the sight of God, and you will be a beacon of light in a world that is filled with darkness. Love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Do not be afraid to stand up for what is good and true, even if it means standing alone. For I am with you always, and my light will guide you on the path of righteousness. Do not be discouraged by the evil you see around you, for I have overcome the world. Trust in me, and I will give you the strength and courage you need to resist temptation and do what is right. I call upon you to be the salt and light of the world, to stand firm in your faith and do what is good and pleasing to God. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds. Choose to walk in the light of my love, and you will not stumble in the darkness of sin. Turn away from the evil of this world and embrace the goodness and mercy that I offer you. Do not be discouraged by the challenges you face or the temptations that come your way. For I have overcome the world, and in me you have the victory over sin and death. Be steadfast in your faith, 
and let your light shine brightly for all to see. By doing good and leaving the evil of this world behind, you will be a living testament to my love and grace. My beloved friend, I urge you to be vigilant and discerning in a world filled with temptations and distractions. Do not be swayed by the empty promises of material wealth or fleeting pleasures, but seek instead the riches of my kingdom. Choose to do what is good and just, even when it is difficult or unpopular. For it is through your actions that you show the world the true nature of my love and mercy. Do not be afraid to stand up for what is right and true, even if it means facing persecution or hardship. For I am with you always, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, and do not let the evil of this world overcome you. By doing good and leaving the evil behind, you will be a light shining in the darkness, leading others to me. I understand that you are human and prone to sin, but I urge you to strive for righteousness and holiness in all that you do. Do not use your weaknesses as an excuse to sin, but rely on my strength to help you overcome temptation. When you do sin, do not despair, for I am always ready to forgive you if you come to me with a repentant heart. Confess your sins to me, and I will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Do not let sin have dominion over you, but submit yourselves to me and resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Walk in the Spirit, and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Remember, I came into this world to save sinners, not to condemn them. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in weakness. Trust in me, and I will help you overcome sin and live a life pleasing to God the Father. I understand the struggles you face in overcoming sin, for I experience the temptations of this world during my time on earth. But I also know the power of forgiveness and redemption that comes from turning to me in repentance. Do not let sin separate you from me, but come to me with a humble and contrite heart, and I will forgive you. Do not let guilt and shame weigh you down, for I have borne your sins on the cross and paid the price for your redemption. Seek to live a life that is pleasing to God, and let your love for me be reflected in your actions. When you stumble and fall, do not hesitate to ask for my forgiveness, for I am always ready to welcome you back into my loving embrace. Do not be discouraged by your failures, but let them be a reminder of your need for me. Trust in my love and mercy, and I will help you overcome sin and live a life of righteousness. I call upon you to focus your hearts and minds on me, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. Do not let the cares and distractions of this world pull you away from me, but keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and perfecter of your faith. When you feel overwhelmed by the challenges of life, come to me, and I will give you rest. When you are lost and unsure of where to turn, seek me, and I will guide you. When you are weak and weary, lean on me, and I will give you strength. Do not rely on your own understanding, but trust in me with all your heart, and I will direct your paths. Do not be afraid to let go of the things of this world that hold you back from fully following me, for I have a plan and a purpose for your life that far surpasses anything you could imagine. Focus your thoughts on me, and I will fill you with peace and joy that the world cannot give. Seek first the kingdom of God and my righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. My beloved friend, I invite you to deepen your relationship with me, to spend time in prayer and meditation, listening for my voice. Do not let the busyness of life drown out the gentle whisper of my spirit speaking to your heart. I am always with you, but I long for you to be conscious of my presence in your daily lives. When you face challenges, turn to me for guidance. When you experience joys, share them with me in thanksgiving. Let me be your constant companion, your rock and your refuge. Do not be afraid to let go of the things that keep you from fully focusing on me. Whether it be worries, distractions, or worldly desires, lay them at my feet and trust in my love and provision. As you focus more on me, you will find that the things of this world grow dim in comparison to the richness of my presence. Seek me with all your heart, and you will find me, ready to pour out my blessings upon you. I invite you to draw closer to me, to deepen your relationship with me in a way that transforms your life. Do not be satisfied with a superficial faith, but seek to know me more deeply, to experience my love and grace in a tangible way. Draw near to me in prayer, pouring out your heart to me and listening for my response. Draw near to me in worship, lifting your voice in praise and adoration. Draw near to me in study, delving into my word to learn more about my character and my will for your life. As you draw closer to me, you will find that your desires align more closely with mine, and your life will begin to reflect my love and grace to those around you. Do not be afraid to let go of the things that keep you from drawing closer to me, for I have so much more in store for you than you can imagine. Please do me a favor. Support the creator of this video by pressing the like button. Please do that now. My cherished friend. Mercy is a cornerstone of love, 
a bridge that spans across misunderstandings and grievances. It is the gentle hand that lifts the fallen, the warm embrace that comforts the sorrowful. When you show mercy, you embody my teachings, extending grace to others as I have extended it to you. Mercy requires empathy, the ability to see beyond actions to the heart within. It asks you to set aside judgment and instead offer understanding. Just as I showed mercy to the woman caught in adultery and to the thief on the cross, I call you to show mercy to those around you. In showing mercy, you reflect the depth of my love and the richness of my grace. You become a beacon of light in a world often shrouded in darkness. Your acts of mercy have the power to transform lives, to heal wounds, and to bring hope to the hopeless. So, I urge you to be merciful as your Father in heaven is merciful. Let your actions be guided by love, compassion, forgiveness, and mercy. In doing so, you will fulfill my commandment to love one another and bring glory to the kingdom of God. Communication with me is not limited to specific times or places. I am always with you, ready to listen to your prayers and to speak to your hearts. I invite you to communicate with me frequently, not just in times of need, but also in times of joy and thanksgiving. Prayer is a powerful tool that connects you to me, allowing you to experience my presence and my peace. It is not just about asking for things, but also about expressing your love, gratitude, and devotion to me. I understand that life can be busy and full of distractions, but I urge you to make time for prayer in your daily routine. Whether it's a few moments of quiet reflection in the morning, a heartfelt prayer before meals, or a moment of gratitude before bed, every prayer is a chance to deepen your relationship with me. Prayer is also a way for you to align your will with mine. As you spend time in prayer, you will find that your desires begin to align with mine, and you will be more attuned to my guidance and direction in your life. So, come close to me in prayer, and let me fill you with my peace and my love. Talk to me as you would talk to a friend, sharing your hopes, your dreams, and your fears. I am always here, ready to listen, ready to comfort, and ready to guide you on your journey. My dear friend, prayer is not just a one-way communication, it is a dialogue between your heart and mind. As you come to me in prayer, I invite you to listen as well as speak. Be still and quiet your mind, allowing my presence to fill your heart and guide your thoughts. In this quiet space, you will find peace and clarity. You will hear my voice speaking to you, offering you comfort, guidance, and wisdom. Trust in my presence and know that I am always here, listening to your prayers and answering them in ways that are best for you. Prayer is also a way for you to express your gratitude for all the blessings in your life. Take time to thank me for the gift of life, for the beauty of creation, and for the love of friends and family. Gratitude opens your heart to receive even more blessings from me. So, come close to me in prayer, and let us commune together in love and in truth. Share your joys and your sorrows with me, and let me be your companion on life's journey. I am always here, waiting to listen, waiting to comfort, and waiting to guide you. One of the greatest acts of love you can show is to give and share with one another. When you give generously and share what you have, you reflect my love and my abundance in the world. Giving is not just about material possessions, it is also about giving of your time, your talents, and your love. When you give freely and without expectation, you open your heart to the joy of giving and receiving. Share your blessings with those who are less fortunate, and you will find that your own blessings multiply. Give of your time to help those in need, and you will discover the true meaning of compassion and empathy. Share your love with those around you, and you will experience the depth of my love for you. Remember, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When you give with a cheerful heart, you bring joy to others and honor to me. So, be generous in your giving, and share freely with those around you. In doing so, you will reflect my love and my light in the world. In giving and sharing with one another, you embody the essence of my teachings. I often spoke of the importance of caring for the poor, feeding the hungry, and clothing the naked. When you give to those in need, you are giving to me. But giving is not just about meeting physical needs, it is also about nourishing the soul. When you give a kind word, a listening ear, or a helping hand, you are uplifting the spirits of those around you. Your acts of kindness and generosity have the power to transform lives and bring hope to the hopeless. I urge you to be generous in your giving, for the measure you give will be the measure you receive. Give freely and without expectation, and you will be blessed abundantly. Share what you have with others, and you will find that your own cup overflows with blessings. So, come close to me, and let me fill you with my love and my compassion. Let that love and compassion flow through you, touching the lives of all you meet. In giving and sharing with one another, you will reflect my love and my light in the world. When you give and share with one another, you create a community of love and compassion. 
You become a beacon of light in a world that often seems dark and divided. Your acts of generosity have the power to bring people together, to bridge the gaps that divide us, and to create a more just and equitable society. I urge you to look for opportunities to give and share in your daily lives. It doesn't have to be a grand gesture. Even a small act of kindness can have a ripple effect that touches the lives of many. Whether it's donating to a charity, volunteering your time, or simply offering a kind word to someone in need, every act of giving and sharing matters. Remember, I gave my life so that you may have eternal life. My sacrifice was the ultimate act of love and generosity. As you go about your days, may you be inspired by my example and strive to emulate my love in all that you do. My dear friend, worrying is a natural part of being human, but it can also be a burden that weighs heavily on your heart and mind. When you worry, you allow fear and anxiety to take hold, preventing you from experiencing the peace and joy that I want for you. I understand that life can be uncertain and that there are many things that are outside of your control, but I want you to know that you do not have to carry these burdens alone. I am always here, ready to help you shoulder your worries and find a path forward. When you find yourself worrying, I invite you to come to me in prayer. Pour out your fears and anxieties to me, and let me fill you with my peace and my presence. Trust in me, and know that I am always working for your good, even in the midst of uncertainty. Remember, worrying does not add a single moment to your life. Instead of worrying, focus on what you can control and trust me with the rest. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So, do not let worry consume you. Instead, trust in me, and let my peace guide your hearts and minds. I am always here for you, ready to lift your burdens and give you rest. Worrying can be like a heavy chain that weighs you down, preventing you from fully experiencing the joy and peace that I offer you. I want you to know that I understand your worries and your fears, and I am here to help you overcome them. When you find yourself worrying, I invite you to come to me in prayer. Lay your burdens at my feet, and let me take them from you. Trust in me, and let my peace fill your hearts and minds. I want you to know that worrying does not change your circumstances. Instead of focusing on your worries, focus on me and my promises. I have promised to never leave you or forsake you, and I will always be with you, guiding you, and protecting you. Trust in my love for you, and let go of your worries. Cast all your anxieties on me, for I care for you deeply. When you surrender your worries to me, you open yourself up to receive my peace, which surpasses all understanding. So, do not let worry rule over you. In this life, you will face many difficulties and challenges, but I want you to know that you do not have to face them alone. I am always here with you, ready to walk with you through the darkest valleys and the toughest times. When you find yourself in the midst of difficulty, turn to me in prayer. Seek my guidance and my strength, and I will give you the courage and the wisdom you need to face whatever comes your way. Trust in me, and I will lead you through the storm to calmer waters. I understand that going through difficult times can be painful and overwhelming, but I want you to know that I am with you in your pain, and I am here to comfort you and give you hope. My love for you is greater than any hardship you may face, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. So, do not lose heart when you face difficulties. Instead, lean on me and on each other for support. Together, we can overcome any obstacle, and you will emerge stronger and more resilient than before. When you find yourselves in the midst of difficulty, remember that I am always with you, guiding you, and giving you strength. Difficult times can be tests of your faith and your resilience, but they can also be opportunities for growth and transformation. In the midst of difficulty, it can be easy to lose hope and to feel overwhelmed. But I want you to know that I am always here, ready to lift you up and carry you through. Trust in me, and I will give you the strength you need to persevere. Difficult times can also be times of great learning and insight. As you navigate through challenges, you will discover new depths of strength and courage within yourself. You will also learn to rely more fully on me and to trust in my plan for your life. So, do not be afraid of difficult times. Embrace them as opportunities to grow closer to me and to become the person I have created you to be. I am always here, ready to guide you through the storms of life and to lead you to a place of peace and wholeness. My beloved friend, I long for you to draw closer to me to experience the depth of my love and the richness of my grace in your lives. Do not let fear or doubt keep you at a distance, but come to me with open hearts and minds, ready to receive all that I have for you. Draw closer to me in prayer, seeking my guidance and my peace in all circumstances. Draw closer to me in fellowship with other believers, encouraging one another and building each other up in faith. Draw closer to me in service, using your gifts and talents to bring glory to my name. As you draw closer to me, you will find that I draw closer to you, 
filling you with my spirit and empowering you to live a life that is pleasing to God. Do not hesitate to draw near to me, for I am always here, ready to welcome you with open arms. I urge you to care for one another as I have cared for you. Love one another with a genuine and selfless love, putting the needs of others before your own. Do not be content with simply offering empty words of compassion, but let your actions speak louder than your words. Look for ways to help and support those in need, whether it be through a kind gesture, a listening ear, or a helping hand. Treat each other with kindness, respect, and understanding, recognizing that each person is a beloved child of God. Be quick to forgive and slow to anger, showing the same grace and mercy that I have shown to you. In caring for one another, you will be a shining example of my love to the world. Let your love for one another be a light that draws others to me, for by this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. I call upon you to care for one another with compassion and kindness, just as I have cared for you. Look beyond yourselves and see the needs of those around you. Be willing to offer a helping hand, a listening ear, or a word of encouragement. Do not let selfishness or pride prevent you from showing love to others. Treat each person you encounter with dignity and respect, knowing that they too are precious in my sight. In your relationships with one another, be patient and understanding, bearing with one another in love. Forgive one another as I have forgiven you, and let your actions be guided by love. By caring for one another in this way, you will reflect my love to the world and bring glory to my name. May your love for one another be a testimony to the transforming power of my grace in your lives. I call upon you to forgive others as I have forgiven you. Just as I have shown you mercy and grace, so too should you show mercy and grace to those who have wronged you. Do not hold on to bitterness or resentment, but let go of the hurt and anger in your heart. Choose to forgive, even when it is difficult, knowing that forgiveness is the path to healing and freedom. Remember, I forgave you a debt that you could never repay. In the same way, forgive others their debts against you, whether they be financial, emotional, or spiritual. By forgiving others, you demonstrate the depth of my love and grace in your life. Let your forgiveness be a reflection of my forgiveness and may it bring reconciliation and peace to your relationships. My beloved friend, forgiveness is a cornerstone of my teachings, for it is through forgiveness that we find healing and peace. Just as I have forgiven you, so too should you forgive others. Do not hold on to grudges or seek revenge, but let go of the past and embrace the future with a heart full of forgiveness and love. Forgive those who have wronged you, whether they have asked for forgiveness or not, and release yourself from the burden of anger and resentment. Forgiveness does not mean condoning or excusing the wrongs that have been done to you. It means choosing to let go of the hurt and pain, and to seek reconciliation and healing instead. By forgiving others, you not only free yourself from the chains of bitterness, but you also reflect my love and mercy to the world. Let your forgiveness be a testament to the transformative power of my grace in your life. My dear friend, depression is a heavy burden to bear, but you do not have to bear it alone. I am here with you ready to offer you comfort, hope, and healing. When you are feeling depressed, turn to me in prayer. Pour out your heart to me, and let me fill you with my peace and my presence. I understand the pain and the despair that come with depression. I see your struggles, and I want you to know that you are not alone. I am here to walk with you through this difficult time, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Depression can make you feel isolated and disconnected from those around you, but I want you to know that you are always connected to me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Remain in me, and you will bear much fruit, even in the midst of your depression. Trust in me, and let me be your strength and your comfort. Lean on me, and I will give you the courage and the hope you need to face each day. Remember, I have overcome the world, and in me, you will find peace. Depression can feel like a heavy cloud that hangs over your life, casting a shadow on everything you do. But I want you to know that there is always hope, even in the darkest of times. I am here to offer you light and to guide you through the storm. When you are feeling depressed, it can be difficult to see beyond your pain and your sadness. But I want you to know that I see you, and I understand what you are going through. You are not alone in your struggles, for I am with you always. Turn to me in prayer, and let me be your source of strength and comfort. Pour out your heart to me, and let me fill you with my peace and my love. Trust in me, and let me be your anchor in the storm. I also encourage you to seek help from others. Talk to a trusted friend, family member, or counselor about what you are going through. You do not have to face depression alone, and there is no shame in asking for help. Remember, I love you more than you can imagine, and I am here to walk with you through your struggles. Trust in me, and let me lead you to a place of healing and wholeness. With all my love and compassion, I invite you to come to me with your burdens, including depression. 
through prayer, support from others, and trust in my presence, you can find hope and strength to navigate through these difficult times. I am always here for you, ready to offer you comfort, peace, and healing. Trust in me, and let my love guide you to a place of light and renewal. Now, take a break from your mobile phone, go to somewhere quiet. I'm waiting for you there. Talk to me like you talk to a friend. Talk to me with your whole mind. Please talk to me now. I'm ready to answer you. Please drop your phone and talk to me now. I'm waiting. Please drop your phone and talk to me now. Please drop your phone and talk to me now. Please drop your phone and talk to me now.